what is going on YouTube rewire strike here I got another video for you guys this time I'm gonna be playing oxen free it's an indie game I'm a big fan of indie games and I love to play them they are the best they are so fun on when you have days off from work and you don't want to do anything too hardcore like an FPS or RTS Oxen free. I'm a I'm, like I said. I'm a huge fan of indie games. They only cost ten to twenty dollars, and I can play them for like a week. And I just enjoy the story behind them. Oxen free. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad right, exactly? So the person <laughs> they in met Orange. on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. Uh, yes. Please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. And I could control the conversation. And you guys just well. met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's C, Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, I um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a uh, miscount on the way back so we can spend the night. But to be clear, you two are what to each other? I think you're overthinking it. He's Am my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool head. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush, wearing your clothes, eating your food. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto, so you're in luck. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned... Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. <laughs> uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Radio is really cool. 
It Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must yeah, be getting a close. lot of talking. In there's this. no radio reception on that. But it's nice, so I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. I like the boat. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. I guess that was the photo that they took on the front of the boat. So the character I'm controlling is a girl, the one with the blue hair. Yeah. I do I do really enjoy indie games, so I'm I'm liking this. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, oh, um, music. anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? J Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends... Come on, Jonas, this is... Let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure, no problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh huh. Really? That's kind of gross. Yeah, sex is gross. So disgusting. Man, get a room, you soldiers. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> improper acts. Impro improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us <laughs> tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. <laughs> oh, well. Oh my god. <laughs> of course you did. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time, and I'm not leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're... Uh, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you'd call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. <laughs> I think that's what I would call a hermit. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones. Drum roll, please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? All right, I'm going to push pause there. This game looks really good. 
I don't know quite where it's going or what exactly I'm doing out on this random island, but this game seems pretty cool. Let's uh, let's go to the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash! I want you to smash that like button. Smash that like su and subscribe button because I'm playing indie games today, and we're gonna keep this game rolling.